Lauren's kids started out of a need of, for me and my family to turn a really tragic situation into one that was positive and one that could make a difference for other children and families out there going through similar experiences that we had to endure due to my sexual abuse from my nanny from the time that I was about 11 until I was 16 years old. This year I'm in a totally different spot in my own life and in my own personal life. In the past year I've written my memoir and, and that has just released and, and you know some of those negative things that were going on in my life I, I have kind of let go of. Um, and, and for me personally I've let all those toxic people out of my life and moved on and I'm in a much happier positive frame of mind not just my own personal life but with Lauren's kids and, and as we go on the journey um, I think you know, you just have to keep in mind that it's one step at a time. Don't think about tomorrow, think about the step you're taking right now. And I think that goes along with your healing journey and this journey. I think, you know, you just have to constantly be, be reframing and, and just saying, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. I think the walk has become an integral part of what we're now doing uh, each year. It has become a part of the raising of awareness, and so I sort of assume that walks are going to be part of our regular annual effort to raise awareness and educate the, pu educate the public on, uh, on the issues affecting children and the protection of children. Walk in My Shoes is about victims. Walk in My Shoes is about victims' family members. Walk in My Shoes is about survivors. You can't really know unless you've really been a a victim. You can't really know unless you've been a family member of a victim. You can't really know and look around because we all know what the statistics are. One in three females will be sexually victimized before they turn 18. One in five young boys will be sexually victimized before they turn 18. One in five children who touch computers will be solicited for some form of sexual activity in an online manner, Walk in My Shoes is about my daughter, Lauren. I want to thank each and every one of you for being here today. I want to thank each and every one of you for walking um, for my survivors and the survivors of our communities. Um, I have a list in my pocket of all the names of people that we're walking for today. These are names that people give me along the way so that I have them in my heart and I walk for them always. And I keep them in my pocket. So if you know of anybody who'd like to walk, who maybe can't, you're in my pocket and you're in my heart. Let's go rock and roll! Lawrence Kids 2011, Key West! It's all about who we're touching and the people that, that get to see this. and. And it's important to remember the message of why we're doing this. It's for the 39 million survivors. And this is a small, small price to pay for the awareness that it brings about. But that's what I keep telling myself. Get your first mile done. Feel great. Ready to keep on going. Just 29 more today. Just 970 for the rest of the walk. We got to keep going.